Hi, this is Scott Laskowski with Organolock, and today we're going to talk about our BPS 1000 coupled with our BB 1000 bio burner as a heat source. If you have a need to dry product, anywhere from 2% to 50% moisture content drops, this machine can do that for you very safely. So let's take a walk around the machine to see how it works. Our biomass processor requires a heat source, so we use our BB 1000. 1 million BTU bio burner. The bio burner is an extreme flex fuel device where we can burn anywhere from wood flour to wood chip to wet sawdust to manures very effectively and efficiently. An additional bonus to our technology is our machines make biochar. In the particular layout you're going to see today, it's set up with our standard six yard fuel bin that is expandable up to 24 yards. We can tie four bins together for additional bulk feed. There is the crossover from our flue gas into the dryer where we bring in high temperatures and you'll see where we plumb up the hot water going straight over to the dryer as well. Our technology is state of the art. Everything is designed in-house. We have touchscreen controls. The technology is accessible remotely. The firmware can be updated remotely. The communication between the burner and the dryer is seamless to guarantee efficient and safe operation of the system. For more information on the BB1000, check the link below in the description. So let's start with the beginning of the process. Our BB1000 burns biomass to make heat. We get heat in two forms. We get flue gas and we get hot water. When the dryer calls for heat, the first thing it looks for is flue gas up to 1,000 degrees, and it comes via the crossover. The crossover is a special place where we pull the heat off of the bridge between the combustion chamber and the hot water heat exchanger of our burner. Based on your drying needs, the computer can be controlled for a flue gas input of anywhere between 300 and 1,000 degrees, and it's pulled into the first and top drying tube for the flash drying process. At the end of the first tube where the flue gas is injected, at the far end there is a fan and a cyclone where all of the hot gas and moist air is ejected from the system. From a safety perspective, when we bring in those hot flue gases, they immediately drop into the top tube, like I said, but that tube is water jacketed at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That pulls the heat away to keep it safe and then additionally, after transferring through that first tube, the material transfers through four more for a total of 125 feet of travel time in water jacketed tubes at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And all the while, the whole system is under a negative pressure where all of that moist air is being pulled out and up toward the top of the machine and out the cyclone. The product to be dried is loaded into one of our product bins. From there, we auger into an airlock that feeds into our top drying tube. At the end of the process, you auger the material out either into your pile as you're going to process it or into our optional hammer mill to pre-size your final product to your needs. Behind me is the optional hammer mill system. It's a 20 horse system. The screen sizes range from 3 16 to two inch. Everything's built, designed in house. There is an airlock on top of that. It is there to guarantee the air direction of the entire system. And then lastly, on the door, you'll see there is a safety bar that guarantees the operator can't get into the system until the knives have actually finished spinning. Safety is incredibly important to us. One thing to note is the system is customizable for configuration. This one happens to be going into an egg laying chicken manure drying facility. There are multiple ways to lay it out and options of what you can add before and after the system. We can talk to you about your needs there, but otherwise it's real simple. Heat, dryer, and we shuttle over the heat in two different forms into the dryer and then we let the computer do the rest of the work. It's automated if you keep material coming in and the piles coming out removed. Well, I hope this overview of our drying system has been helpful to you. If you need more information on specifications, check the links below, check our website, or give us a call. Till next time.